Hello everyone. Today we will talk about about uh, concrete. As we know, concrete is the mixture of sand, cement, and aggregate. Okay. Now we use cement. Cement is the binding material in concrete, and the cement uh, which we use is very important for in concrete. Uh, usually uh, in India, the cost of cement is uh, 10 rupees per kg. And uh, from 1998, we replaced the cement by other some materials. Usually, we have nowadays we have the various very famous material that is G, G, this GGPS material. GGPS material, this can be used. We can replace about 80% of cement. We can replace about 80% of cement by this GGPS. So it is not so much costly. It is approximately two or three rupees per kg, and whereas the cement is ten rupees per kg, so and it gives us the same strength as cement. So if we use this GGPS, it will give us the economical section, and the, our total cost will reduce it. Here is my sir. He will tell you about uh, uh, GGPS. According to our IS standards, we can use the GGBS up to 80% in cement replacement. But uh, as per our practices in our laboratory, yes. we have done uh, trials as uh, generally up to 25 or uh, 50%. We also uh, use 50% of GGBS replacement. But on site, we generally done uh, the trial on uh, 25% for M15 design. After that, we did, didn't use GGBS. Uh, and uh, the second thing is we can use uh, as it is brown granulated glass to furnace slag. We can use also fly ash. Fly ash is another material that is wastage from power plants and its cost is uh, 1 rupee per kg. And also we can use fly ash. We can replace the cement by fly ash. Uh, we can use fly ash up to 30 or 40 percent. That will give us the optimum strength. Now, here we have some uh, something very important and very impressive that is we know when cement reacts with water there is a hydration process the heat is released okay and we use curing for hydration the curing we give some water to the to our concrete so the hydration process continues so here we have new discovery we can say the discovery that is we can replace 100% cement we can use ggbs and fly ash combination of ggbs and fly ash we can replace fully cement and we have checked it will give us the good strength it will give us the optimum strength and we we will use first we will use ggb ggbs uh, with the fly ash and then we use uh, sodium hydroxide then we use uh, sand then aggregate and then sodium silicate sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate these are two different materials we use these two types of materials sodium silicate and sodium hydroxide then we combine these two materials the heat is released we, this is in the liquid form the heat is released when we combine sodium silicate and sodium hydroxide when the heat is released we get an, a substance a liquid after that we need only some quantity of water not for curing not for hydration no hydration is done, no curing is done. We can go, we can get our optimum strength without curing, without height of hydration. Okay, this is the main property of this GGPS. This is the main thing we can do in future. So it will take more time. It will it will give a more. We should be more conscious for about curing. So this is very uh, this is very big process. So to we can reduce this process by using these two chemicals, GGBS and fly ash, with some chemicals, sodium silicate and sodium hydroxide. So we have sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate. The heat is released during mixing. It was all about how we can replace the cement uh, and uh, we get the optimum results, we get the optimum strength. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.